Hi here again. Welcome back and in this video we are going to select the elements that we want to buy to put into the computer and I'm going to explain why I select which I will select. And for the new viewers, this is what we're going to do. We want to build a computer inside this. In the first video we cleaned the old guitar, this is a very old guitar, you can't see it anymore because we cleaned it up very good. And in the second video we removed the back of the guitar, as you can see here. And now we have to fill it with components. Um, yeah, that's where we're, what we're going to do today. We're going to select the components and if we find what we need, we will order them. So, have fun watching. This is a list of all the components that I want to buy for the computer inside the guitar. And as you can see the total will be 905 euros and 78 cents. So, sounds really reasonable to me. Um, the first thing I want to light up is like this thing. It's zero euro. And that's because I already have this, uh, this SSD card so I don't have to buy it anymore. First of all the motherboard. Um, it's very important for our computer to be as small as possible and this is this is one of the smallest motherboards that I can find uh, which have all the things that I want like um, it has to be an uh, 1150 socket uh, because I want to have an i7 processor um, 16 gigs RAM, RAM is good uh, HD audio 8, 8 channels that would be uh, very necessary for a computer uh, for an audio freak like me and the next thing is work memory. Uh, I always have like 10 things open, uh, maybe 20, so I need a, needed a lot of memory. And um, it looks, looks nice, you know, and the black motherboard. And this is a black motherboard, of course, so this is what I think. And it's two times eight gigs, 16 gigs should be enough. Um, it fits in the motherboard, as you can see here, it's max 16 gigs, so this should be good enough. Um, it's 1600 megahertz, I think. Uh, let's see, yeah, 1600. And the motherboard also supports up to 1600, so that should be uh, should be fine. And at the moment, I have even a slower one, and it works for me fast enough. Next thing is cooling. Um, you you would think, why would I use water cooling? Not because I'm going to overclock, but because um, if you use air cooling, it's almost very thick, you know, it will not fit into the guitar. So I choose for water cooling uh, because you can uh, put the cooler element next to your motherboard. Uh, and that's pretty much the only reason. I choose the smallest one. Uh, double fans would never fit into the guitar and uh, this will just cool pretty good. And uh, I read a lot of reviews and it seems to be just fine. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's definitely better than a stock cooler. And yeah, let's try this one out. Next component we is a processor. As I mentioned, I always have a lot of things uh, um, open. So I just need, I wanted the i7 and this is just a beast of a processor. This, this processor will not be outrun for like four or five years. This will be definitely a good choice i think the integrated graphics card is not very good but i'm not going to use it so this will be a beast of a of a processor that will just render everything i want and that's very important so next thing is our video card um i love the 960 i have a 960 myself um because it's not very expensive you know it's money but it's not very expensive and it has a very very good uh, result um, I'm using a 4k monitor and then you need a, a good video card um, and I'm using this one because this is a smaller one and it should not be less good than the bigger one a little bit warmer but I can live with that and I'm using the 4 gig version because 4k screens are very demanding uh, for your um, memory on your video card so the 4 gig should be just fine I think with this video card I actually play Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on 4k on normal graphic stand so that's pretty pretty good 
Um, then we have the power supply. Um, a normal size power supply would be too big to fit in the guitar. It's too thick, it's too, uh, it's too heavy. So we went for SFX. Uh, it's a smaller version. And we need 500 watts, should be good. The processor is pretty demanding, but the video card isn't that much and the memory isn't that much either. So this should be, should be fine. And what I love is that I can swipe out uh, cables and swipe them, uh, only use what I need with this, where well you can see that hair here, a bag with uh, uh, the cables. So I really love this kind of things. In my own computer, I use this as well. And um, yeah, this should be uh, should be a good uh, good power supply, I think. Then next thing, the extended extending cables. This is a this is the um, image I created with Photoshop to um, think out where everything should be stored. And if you, if you, as you can see in this image, every port like the audio ports the internet ports and the usb ports are inside the case so we need extenders they're not very ex expensive but you have to use extenders to uh, port them outside of the case and then another thing would be that we need a pce extender i will show this one because otherwise maybe you don't know what it is this is a pca extender so the uh, top side uh, there you do you, you do your video card inside the top side and the bottom side you put into your motherboard the last thing would be the SSD as I mentioned I have this SSD it's like 180 120 gigs and maybe if there's enough space I put another uh, uh, classic hard drive in I have another hard drive just lying here around so this should be all the components we need Thank you for watching again. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to um, draw them on scale, on real, uh, uh, on, on real size, so we can see if they will actually fit inside the guitar before we're going to order them. Uh, as always, thumbs up if you liked the video. Please subscribe, subscribe to our channel, and uh, well, have a nice day.